During the Biennale, you can feel and breathe art everywhere. This edition is more vibrant than ever. The desire to share ideas and spaces is back, and above all, the desire for beauty. A beauty that is here at every turn. Uzbekistan is taking part in the Venice Art Biennale with its own pavilion for the first time. It's not a traditional exhibition, a container for works of art. Instead, it's a platform for conversation, for exchanging knowledge, for learning from each other. It is a great pleasure to see that the National Pavilion of Uzbekistan facilitate creative exchange between artists and musicians, both from Uzbekistan and abroad. The Biennale is an opportunity for us all to gather and cooperate. And the leadership of the Republic of Uzbekistan is happy to promote the spirit of collaboration. The aim is to give everyone the chance to learn, especially young people. As the educational program is basically the essence of uh, our pavilion, because we fulfill this as uh, a space, as uh, this atmosphere with uh, education. Uh, we will invite um, curators and artists and uh, historians to engage together with the Uzbek uh, artists to create this kind of vibrant uh, atmosphere of engaging, uh, on, of support of each other, you know, and also to create um, a place of knowledge, basically, when everyone can learn from each other. It's kind of meditative place when everyone can really feel natural, you know, to expose their knowledge, to learn, but also to give back. With their delicate scent, sea lavender bushes stimulate the imagination. The Garden of Wisdom is inspired by the ancient Islamic tradition of the garden as a space for sharing and exchange. And Uzbekistan's scientific and cultural heritage plays a key role. The Pavilion of Uzbekistan is specifically a reflection on the work of a very important polymath and mathematician scientist from the 9th century called Al-Kharazmi. He left an incredibly strong legacy, even in the field of computer science. The word algorithm, even, is uh, a reference to Uzbekistan in the sense that it comes from uh, algorithm from Algorithmi, the Latin name of al kharezmi who was from the Kharezm region of Uzbekistan. So, and this idea that, in fact, um, the things that we take for granted have so many more layers of meaning and so many connections to other cultures and other places is something that we found deeply fascinating. And it's also by using algorithms that artist-composer Charlie Tapp and Abro Zuvarov, a famous Uzbek classical musician, make their instruments talk to each other. The piano and tambour dialogue using an evolving algorithm. It will be enriched by the work of other musicians at the Venice Biennale over the coming months.